What if I tell you without writing even a single query, you can start interacting with your SQLite database as well as the SQL server using the model context protocol. Welcome to the all new Azure Automations database server, MCP server, which can actually help you do that. So this is the new Azure Automation database server, which is released like five minutes before. And you can see that we have got all those things covered for you. So all you have to do right now using this particular MCP server is that you have to just define the server name. For example, for SQLite, you can just say SQLite, for example, and then you just specify the command like uh, npx hyphen y, the same regular, regular things. And then you have to specify like at text automation slash database server to point to this particular server. And then just the path for the SQLite database and then that's it. You are connecting yourself with that particular database server. And if you want to connect with the SQL server, you have to pass few more details. Over here, you have to specify uh, the SQL server as the flag because you're gonna be working with the SQL server. And then you have to uh, specify the server name, database, username and password, and that's it. You are connecting with your SQL server database instance from there, and that's it. And if you wanted to work with the local development, pretty much like how you always do with the Playwright MCP server, you can do that as well over here. And these are the tools which are currently supported by this particular uh, by this particular uh, MCP server for now, like read query, write query, create tables, alter table, drop table, list the table, describe table, export query, uh, append uh, insights and the list insights. And we also have got some tools for exporting it to CSV files and things. Uh, and I will quickly show you how you can actually do that over here in this particular video. This is quite exciting to be honest. So as you can see that this is the SQL server which, I, which is running in my Docker desktop over here. Uh, and if I try to run this, uh, uh, you can see that I will get my uh, my table listed over here and now i'm gonna show you the same thing which you can do it from the model context protocol of the cloud anthropic so in order to do that i'm gonna go to the cloud desktop and you can see that in the cloud desktop uh, over here in the installed mcp servers we have got the new exit automation slash database server which is currently in version 1.01 .01 by the time of recording and over here i'm just gonna say uh, i wanted to connect with this particular uh, database table and do some operation let's say i'm gonna say uh, query all the details from the table and list me in the tabular uh, format that's it and if I try to uh, send that over there you will notice that now the uh, cloud uh, with the power of the uh, MCP server is gonna go and talk with the SQL server uh, tool and it says list table so it is going to go and first understand the tables which are available uh, in that particular server and now it has got that there is a product table so it's going to go and uh, get that particular product table for you uh, and then now it's getting all the details from the product and now it's going to do a read query from that particular product uh, and then now it is going to uh, get the details of the product in the tabular format as you can see over here. And now once you have this particular data, you can do everything that you can really imagine of. For example, if you wanted to do, uh, for instance, uh, get me the uh, average uh, price of the, uh, of the products, and if I hit enter, it is gonna go and again do the same operation, but it is gonna write some more query for you over there. Look at that, it's gonna do a read query where this is the query that it has to do, which is the average query. And now it's gonna give you the average of that particular product for you over here. You can also say, uh, can you uh, add a product uh, with uh, maybe uh, like a AI PC uh, in it? So you see that now I'm asking it to add a product to that particular uh, particular table. So now you see that it is gonna write an insert query for the write query uh, tool. And then now it is gonna insert that for you over there and see that it has inserted that for you over there. So like AI PC desktop, this is the details and has added that detail and the category is computer. So every single thing is going to be done for you over here. And now if you wanted to delete a, a product that you have uh, added, you can do that. Or maybe just say, uh, remove the product, which is of uh, maybe, which is uh, less than uh, less than 20 or maybe less than, yeah, less than $20, something like that. And if I hit uh, enter over there, you will notice that it is gonna go and remove that 
product for me from that particular table which is going to be amazing look at that this is strange and now it is going to delete the product i mean it has figured out that there is some other problem going on but it has removed that for me over there and look at that so it has removed um, two products like which is of price eight and uh, uh, 12 and now there are three products remaining so that's what reason why it is showing you just the three products for you over here so this is how we can see that we can make use of all these operation using the cloud uh, desktop uh, and now if i wanted to see how to do the configurations and things again it is quite straightforward all you have to do is just go uh, go to the cloud desktop uh, settings over here and this is the settings that you get it you get go to the developers go to the sql server go to the edit configurations you get it here uh, and go to the uh, cloud desktop uh, config.json file and if i open it over here let me just open it on the same window uh, over here you see that this is what i have configured over here so this is our playwright mcp server uh, and this is the uh, mcp server which is already published in the npm so you can just download it pretty much like what i'm doing right now npx hyphen y at exit automation slash database server and this is sql server that's the reason why i have used it sql server and then the server uh, local host so on the database is the product and the username is this and i have shown my strong password very clear to you that's what it is right so this is the uh, this is the thing that you have to do over here to configure with the sql server but if you want to really use it with the uh, with the sql lite database i will quickly show you how you can actually do that as well so for that i'm going to quickly go to the safari browser over here and you can see that i have got this detail to connect with the sql uh, lite database so i'm just going to go and copy this entire thing from here like how i'm going to be connecting with the sql uh, lite database uh, this detail is available even in the npm um, and js site over here so you can just go and copy it from here so you can see that there is this home page for this particular repository so you can just go there which is going to take you to the github uh, home page which is this readme file and then you can do it from here uh, and you can also get more details about how you can set up the sql servers in the setup guide so that you can uh, get the even more details from here but again it's very very straightforward like how you can actually do that uh, and over here i'm just going to replace this server to the sql lite database over here and i have got the database uh, in this particular path so which is going to be this particular path i mean this is the application which i've been showing for many of my demonstration even before so i'm just going to use the same applications and same database over here i'm just going to save that uh, and now i'm going to use the uh, cloud desktop so i just have to reboot the uh, cloud desktop if not the changes will not be taken into effect now i'm going to say can you uh, query the uh, product table and get me the details in tabular format so i'm just going to do pretty much exactly the same way like how i was doing with the uh, sql server so let's see what is really going to happen this time uh, look at that now it is invoking the sql light uh, tool for me uh, and database which is the read query uh, tool for the sql light database so it's going to go and read the product table there uh, and let's see what is going to happen so it is reading it through and it has got that and it has found the table like products and now it has also got the table details and look at that it has got all the information and it is printing all the 10 records that it has got over there and now you know what to do right you can delete it and you can query you can do all the dml operation as well as the ddl operation from this particular table uh, and you can do all sort of things so this is how you can actually use this exit automation uh, database server which is going to do all these operation like a database operation for you there are a lot more uh, features planned for this particular tool especially to connect with the postgresql mongodb and more so that we can have one central repository to connect with multiple different databases without having to have multiple different mcp server for that matter and this is especially useful not just for the development uh, purpose you can also use it for testing purpose and also you can use it along with 
playwright mcp server to get the database uh, of that particular application to see how you can uh, interact the database every single time while the database has got the data that you're looking for or not while the application makes any changes in the ui so those are things that we can do from this particular uh, mcp server i'm quite excited about this particular server and i will let you to try it out and let me know how you feel about this particular tool and once again thank you so much for watching this video and catch you in the next one with another few updates for this particular tool. Talk to you soon.